Hello guys, good morning. Uh, today, guys, I'll be sharing you one of the craziest games I've ever played. <clears throat> so, it happened, I think, four days ago. And I have only this moment to review it and record it. So, so let's start with the game. So, basically, I started with E4 since I'm an E4 player. Then he replied with a C5. Knight F3, standard. I want to have an open Sicilian, so that's an open Sicilian. So, C takes D, D4, then Knight takes D4. So, we'll go to the book. Uh, give a moment. So, this is still a book, French variation. Sicilian defense, French variation. Then, Knight, <coughs> Knight F, not Knight c6 so this is what they call the time of variation so the computer engine said that <clears throat> the standard is this one knight c3 but i didn't do that because i was thinking of this this might be a better one even though it gives me a disadvantage in that one as you can see it gives me negative 0.3 then but the next good move for black is let's see it's knight f6 that's correct and what i did is uh i i take the knight on c6 and we still have a lot of game here so black we have here two games winning for black and a draw and one win for white this high high rank player so two three two five so this high rank player then what he did is he took by b x c6 okay so what i did is to to defend this e4 pawn via my bishop so i played bishop d3 then he played bishop b4 check we should play this one this is what the computer engines says I mean, computer engine suggests. Then what I did, what he did was, he created a check on bishop b4. What I did is put this bishop on d2 to defend that. He, I think what he did is, he put a bishop on b6. This is still winning for black. There's still one win here, as you can see. This is zero one means black wins this game. But here he played bishop b6. And after this one, there's no database can be found in this game. So this is completely new game. So basically, this is all completely new game. So let's start from this game. So here. I can push a pawn here, as the computer suggested. But I took the safety one. I took the castle, short castle. Then what he did, uh, the computer suggested to take this bishop on d2. But I think he played the other way around. a5. Oh, that's give him a lot of disadvantage, as you can see. From point four, zero point four. After a five, you are now plus two point seven. That's almost a two points advantage. So I think what I did here. Let's see. A five after e a five. I put a five. This is a good move. So that's correct. The only best move here is knight g8 and also what what is the computer suggested and here i think i played queen g4 i attack queen g4 let's see what other yeah the computer suggested knight knight c3 but i took but i did the net queen g4 still uh, advantage of plus 2.3 then what he did, he go to g6. So 
Queen G4 was <clears throat> the idea of Queen G4 is basically to make a threat on this one, right? So after you have this threat, so uh, the enemy is forced to defend this one. So he did G6. Okay, then it's given me a, a lot of advantage already. 3.5. So what I did is after that, I think knight C3 to activate my knight. So what he did is H5. So he's now attacking my king's knight. Actually, I have made a mistake here. So I played this one. The computer suggested this one. But I played... Uh, what did I play? Queen G5. It So from my advantages of 3.9, it's now go down to 2. So I lost almost 2 pounds there. 2 pounds advantage. So what he did, the Queen D4, that was the computer suggestion. Another suggestion by the computer is to have a Queen to Queen because he's threatening my bishop here. So I was thinking... I was thinking that... Since I'm in an attacking mode and the king is in the center, so I did a wild barbarian attack. So I just sacrificed this bishop, and actually, it's a bad move. <laughs> As you can see, the 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 evaluation now is negative two point eight. So uh, if well defended, I'm pretty lost on this game. So what he can do is that he can back his bishop so what i can do it can either back my i cannot back my bishop anywhere inside from the black square so i have to back this one to square then after that exchange of queen he can take my bishop here so it definitely is advantage of bishop a piece of so that what he missed instead he played here this one oops sorry not that one where are we at Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, guys. So what we got here is Queen. Then he took the F text G6. And this is an opportunity for me to make an attack. Even though I'm at disadvantage, I still have the advantage of his king. It's not castled. So what he did, King F8. And... After the computer suggestion was to put the rook here, but what I did is too slow. I just defended. I just defended the bishop. He took a uh, queen to queen because he's already a bishop up, piece up. So what I did, I escaped from that one because I don't want to exchange. Whenever you're in an attacking mode, you don't need to exchange. So that's why I did. So he played bishop a6 to threaten this one. So what I did is just to defend this one. Now I'm defending. What the heck? So I defend this c4 pawn. So he he developed the knight on g6 to e7. So that's a pawn for me. Then he go back for the bishop. Actually, I have an here c7 was a good move but I just go back I was quite passive then after that he put the rook on a2 making some uh, protection on the seven rank so actually it's still almost equal not equal but I'm already I mean upon down here evaluation negative point nine then after that he threatened my queen then I just uh, I just step back then he tried to a checkmate here. So the computer suggests this one, but I don't like that one. I am rather I rather play this one. I think I play this one. Then he did queen to queen again. Then I did a check. He did uh uh he put his king on king f seven. And after that I put my knight here to activate my <coughs> knight in the center. So he did, he did took the pawn on e4. So I take the rook here to exchange, and I put another rook here. So I'm planning an attack now. The equal, it's now equals. See, see guys, this is definitely equal game. 
but still a crazy game. So what he did, he just moved back his bishop because the bishop is protecting this square and also have opportunity to attack this. But it's not still useful. The bishop still seems like no use. I put the knight here. Actually, this is a bad move. The computer suggested to put, push this pawn. But I made a mistake here. So the mistake here is because it, the, the knight can jump here. As you can see, he moved that knight. And it's, I'm totally... <laughs> I'm lost already here. It's negative 5.5, almost a rook in a pawn. So he took with a queen. Then again, I have to... I don't want to trade... Um, I'm already down a piece of bishop. So the only I'm ho I'm just hoping that I can still have an attacking chances in this game. So what I what what he did is bishop c5 check. Then I go queen f1 because I want to have a breathing room and I can have an escape route on this one this one to this one. So I don't want to go to this one to this h each one square because it's totally have a background problems so what he did is just rook cliff threaten my bishop here so what i did is back my bishop then he took my bishop actually i have no choice there then i think he have made an escape uh, made a mistake here so he did this one actually there's a problem because i did gamble I did check here then he could have back and queen e8 but he didn't i think he didn't he go to rep rook f6 as you can see covered his rook here so i check here so it, it doesn't have any cover but he can do he can put his king here on g6 what, and what he did then i check here so i think he go to this corner and what I did, I put a gamble here. <clears throat> I put my rook here. So the threat is this one, h8. And <clears throat> I think he made a mistake here. So from this equal, he make a mistake here by putting this this rook at g6, which gave me a mating gave me a mating pattern. So I suddenly I suddenly recognized this mating pattern. So it's this this six move. Six, as you can see, this is a six move ahead meeting pattern. It's hard to find. So this also my my time is very low, thirty seconds, and his time is very big, one point one minute and seven seconds. Check, check, then here, and checkmate. And that was that's what that was a lucky one. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching again, and see you in my next stream of chess at lechess.org. So I hope we could. We could make a, make a game there. Follow me on my YouTube channel and also on my Chess account. My name is Darch Hayate. I have a almost 20, 2,200 rating. So see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless.